What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here to bring you some more Super Smash Bros. 3DS gambling. Now I know a lot of you are probably going to be asking in the comments, you know, what's up with the Wii U version? I'm still broke. Like, I, I did actually get some money because I signed with a new um, partnership network and I, I did get a nice cool bonus, but that money had to go straight to helping my mom out because she's in somewhat of a pickle too with her moving situation. So, you know, you give, you give when you have, you know? So. Whatever, things are going to work out. I definitely don't doubt that. But anyways, guys, I really wanted to bring you some more of our gambling segment. It was really fun because it involved me doing something which usually isn't something that I... Well, I, I mean, I do commentate stuff, but you know, not Smash matches. So, we are going to go to the spectate mode and we are going to see if we can gamble some money away. And um, here we go. So, we have a four-man match right here, but I definitely don't want to be... I don't, I don't want to be caught in a four-man match. Those are harder to accommodate for me. I don't know if it's just me, but yeah, let's just take a look at the world status thing. Yeah, okay, here we go. So we're going to go with this one. Now, let's see here. So this guy, okay, this is looking like a pretty even matchup. They both seem to be doing pretty well. Both of their characters are on a winning streak. Um, I'm probably going to have to give it to Pikachu because he has the speed. And if they both know what they're doing, if they're both adept with these characters, I think Pikachu will come out on top. Ike just doesn't really have it to spar with characters that move faster than him. I mean, some people can. You can make it work, but I don't know. I, I, I think Pikachu has this one. So let's hope that our money went towards the right direction. Let's do it. Here we go. And, and projectile game, too. Ike is going to have it tough in this match. Let's just see what happens here, though. I mean, if Ike plays defensive... Even then, the projectile game. The projectiles are going to force Ike to come straight to Pikachu. That's going to make it tough for him to fight this one. Let's see here. Spacing options, yeah. Okay. That was a good opportunity to attack. Oh! Okay. Eat the! <laughs> Eat the! <laughs> I love that. <laughs> hmm. Was it possible to punish that? Oh, no, no. He got, he got pushed way too far. Alright, so, um... Right now, this is actually a lot more even than I would have thought. Ike is, Ike is holding his own down pretty well. Let's see though. This is not this is not going the way I thought. I was gonna I thought it was gonna be total obliteration. Pikachu definitely does have an advantage, but Ike is holding it down, but I may have spoken too soon. I may have spoken too soon. Here we go. Uh, okay, so Ike's at a clean 100. Oh! Still no KO there. I bet Ike has his weight to thank for that, but. But then again, you know what? Considering that Ike is a very high-powered character, he could kill Pikachu at 76%. He could very well kill Pikachu at that percentage if he charged up a smash move, maybe like half the duration, and he was at the edge of the stage. He could kill. I think so. Oh. Hmm. And this isn't even really a spammy Pikachu. Like he's not even using the projectiles, like exploiting him. Like he's actually working him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's working him. Working him. Let's go. Ah! Eat the. Oh shit. So far, Ike hasn't gotten a strong hit on Pikachu yet, man. This yellow bastard is working this bad. It's it's. Look, already they're at the same percentage. Yeah, that's it. Still no. Woo! Got a little too uppity right there. He had to calm him down. Have a seat, Pikachu. But this is pretty much gonna be it. I mean, one, one back throw and that's it. Edge of the stage, that'll handle it. Whew. Right to the chin. Okay. Oh, with the counter too? But Pikachu is so short that the sword went over his head. Oh, he's trying to get the spike off too. Yeah, this wasn't this wasn't close at all. This wasn't close at all. Pikachu pretty much had the advantage the entire time. I mean, the, the game isn't over yet, though, so that's why I'm wondering. Oh! Yeah, the headbutt. Like, I, I've noticed that if Pikachu manages to smack that headbutt in the early stages, it's gonna send you. So, um, yeah, Pikachu wins that one. So we managed to come out. We're gonna continue our winning streak here, so let's do it. The next battle. Hopefully this is a two-man game. Alright, so this is a team battle. Not as good as two people fighting alone, but hey, it's still good. Oh, man, yeah, it's obvious where my money's going. Look at that percentage that Fox has, man. Only 6%? Come on, man. And plus, he's on a... Yeah, I, I don't like that. Definitely prefer my money going to Yoshi and Charizard here. Hmm. 
and it's on Battlefield. Will the ledges make a difference here? I mean, I don't know, there's two Charizards on each team, so I mean, well not two on each, but you know. Oh wait, oh, the Final Destination, oh yeah, Final Destination Battle, it's everything's Final Destination. Alright, so let's see here, we are rooting for the red team right now, I think. Is it red team? Wait, Fox already got launched at this point. Yeah, it, it, it's already a wrap. That Fox, I got my eye on him because you saw his percentage was like six, man. This guy is not going anywhere. Hmm. And you have the spammy Charizards that always freaking do the flare blitz, man. Like, why is that such a common thing? All right, so far the red team is doing better than I. I mean, but then again, that was expected considering that shitty box. In the team battle, all it takes is one of one 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 person. Be look at this shit. <laughs> That's all. Are you kidding me? What the fuck is this? <laughs> what kind of retarded shit is this? Wow. I mean, red team is in the lead though, so you know, this is what we were expecting. But this is Flare Blitz City, man. I mean, it's such a good move, too. I can't even lie there, so, I mean... The only thing that sucks about it is all that recoil damage you take, but... It's worth it if you're gonna knock somebody off the field. And it looks like that Charizard's pretty much done. Of course, that's a recovery option. The Flare Blitz recovery, why not? Everyone playing in this game must be under 12 years old. Except for maybe Yoshi. He just spiked the shit out of Fox. Yeah. 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 There's too much going on right now. Damn! But Red Team is still way in the lead. And of course, who has the most depth? It's definitely Fox, man. This dude sucks right now. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry. I don't mean to get at your ass. What's your name? Luigi? But you need to put down Fox. Maybe you need to put down this game. Did someone just get spiked? What the fuck? Jackpot! Jackpot! That one was so easy to predict. Hopefully we can multiply it, and yes we can. Let's continue with this streak. Alright, another team battle. Obviously the odds are looking a lot better for Shulk and Ness. And Ness is pretty good in this game, like I've seen them do some crazy stuff, man. I don't know if it's just me, but I've seen them... The trickiness with the up B that Ness has is... Yeah, I'm gonna go with Ness and Shulk. Yeah. Alright, so, let's continue this. I mean, the percentages are so, so much more secure on Ness's side and with Shulk too. Shulk is somewhat of an iffy character. A lot of people think that he sucks, but it's not that he sucks. It just requires a lot of training to space yourself correctly with Shulk. His range is so massive. And I had to, I actually secondary Shulk because I, the thing is is that if you can utilize the range that he has, then you can come out on top in a lot of situations. But that's the thing, you have to really perfect that range, that spacing with him. Because if you don't, you're gonna get taken advantage of in a lot of situations. You gotta know when to neutral A. And his neutral A has such a huge distance. So I'm gonna keep my eyes on the Shulk and I'll let you guys know if he knows what he's doing out there. Doesn't seem like it though. There's already, there's items on too, apparently, there's assist trophies and whatnot, so yeah, I don't know what the fuck's going on. Oh my god, it's a good thing I did not bet on Jigglypuff and Fox trying to be ballsy and make more money, because it's quite obvious that they're outclassed. Wait, wait, never mind, they're winning, holy shit. Okay, never mind, they're, they're actually winning. I don't think Fox is coming, oh, never mind, okay. Damn, man, I'm, I'm, I'm experiencing multiple instances of commentator's curse right here. That Jigglypuff keeps trying to... Jigglypuff keeps trying to go for a, um... Well, I know it's not Dream Eater, but, um, trying to go for a rest, but... It's not hitting. But they keep trying, though, I guess. So far, the score is even, because Ness has negative one, and Shulk has plus one, so it's... Pretty much even with Jigglypuff and Fox's neutral score right now. Whew. And when Shulk has the Smash Monado on, you need to watch out for that because even even light hits like his side tilt will knock you for a loop, especially if you're Jiggly. Oh, oh never mind! Holy crap! Damn, alright, I might 
Why does Ness... You know, I'm thinking Ness will do well here, but, you know, we have items activated, so... This match is something else totally, yeah. Yeah, we're not coming out on top of this one. I would have thought that Shulk and Ness would have won, but... Ness was dying way too much, obviously, so... That is a loss for us. Too bad. Well, guys, that was one, another instance of betting. This would be a lot more interesting for me if... Wait a minute. Okay, we got, um... We got another match here, so, um... You know what? This one looks like it'll be good. This looks like it'll be good.